Yes, because I'm not a sickly person. I was never in a hospital with any kind of ailment. I don't even get the flu regularly. You know, I haven't had the flu for like six, seven years. So I would say this is the most, you know, the most devastating <laughs> medical thing that ever happened to me. I would say devastating because it is devastating. Even though my symptoms weren't as bad as some people, because some people end up in hospital with shortness of breath and body pains and, you know, they can't move, no oxygen. So even though my prognosis wasn't that bad, mentally, I was there. I was already there before it even happened. And uh, talking to friends really helped me come out of that because I was thinking negative. I was thinking do negative. Everything was like, you know, I, I, I go and end up in hospital, I go, I'm going to die, I'm going to, you know, lack oxygen. So everything was too negative. So uh, friends helped me to come out of that and think more positive. Think that you're going to get over this. It's going to be okay. You know, you're going to fight it kind of thing. My advice is take this thing very seriously. Trust me, you do not want to get COVID-19. You do not want to put that on your family. You do not want anybody around you to get it. So my advice is to follow all the protocols, stay inside. If you do not have to be outside, do not be outside. Stay inside, get your essentials and get back in. You do not want COVID-19. It's not a nice thing to go through. And even though you're young and healthy, it can still affect you negatively. Nobody is invincible and nobody is immune. So follow the protocols, stay inside and be safe.